Hey, yo, Jace. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Say something to her. Holler at her. <laughs> I got one question. <laughs> How'd you fit all that in them jeans? Wait, what? Hey guys, I hope you're having a fantastic Friday on the uh, the YouTubes. Besides the awesome intro, well, I got some not so awesome news. Spoiler alert, it's about to get real toasty. Fuck the fans. No sarcasm, no joking. Fuck the fan. Here's the long short that you need to know. My computer went full retard. I, I think it happened again. And now I don't have a graphics card anymore. And as you probably could tell by the hilarious yet cringeworthy short, yeah, my fan just decided to stop working and fry that thing like a pizza. But wait, there's more. Hi, Billy Mays here for the. <laughs> Now that my graphics card has become a piece of toast left in the toaster on high all night long, I may miss out on the Battlefield 1 beta, unless by some miracle- OH sh Oh look, a new one came through the window! In the meantime, I'm gonna be trying out this video. Now this video could go two ways. One, it could be complete cringe like my vacation video. Two, you guys love it and want more of these types of videos. You know you could still try the Why I Love Potatoes video. You're right, I could, because who doesn't love potatoes? Anyways, let's jump into it. Crazy homeless man high on meth walks into where I work. That's clickbait, don't click on it. Oh really? What about this? <laughs> Let's build Frozen. Now this is what I call quality content. Not cringy at all. Let's talk about this clickbait story. So I used to work at this place called, um, just for copyright reasons, we're gonna call it The Pizza Is Hot. Well, well, now that I think about it, it's actually a pretty accurate description because pulling out those pizzas out of the oven was like Armageddon. That oil would pop on you and burn so bad. Wake me up! Wake me up, pizza! Anyways, I managed to make it out of Armageddon, so I have a story to tell or two. So two weeks into the job, nothing really crazy has happened yet. That is, until this one scrub decided to show up one day. The scrub that was homeless, had no shirt on, and was carrying look like a bag of Kellogg's, happens to just walk in. Did you really just say bag of Kellogg's cereal? Dude, no joke, he was actually carrying a bag of Kellogg's cereal. So my first thoughts when this guy walked in was, he's homeless, right? But when I took a harder look at him, that's when I realized this guy is sketchy. Since he had no shirt on, I really wish I could have said, Oh, I'm sorry. No shoes? Obviously no shirt. No service, Kellogg's boy. But because I was hired to greet people, take orders, wait tables, etc., the literal second that guy entered the door, I was doomed to talk to him. So I greet the Kellogg's boy with the, Hi, how are ya? To which the guy replies in the most cringy way possible. Hey man, can I have some free pizza? Then he mumbles the most indecipherable code to man, goes on telling me about his Kellogg's bag, saying, This Kellogg's bag is all I got, man. Yet again mumbles an indecipherable code that he couldn't even understand, lastly asking, Hey man, where's the restroom at? Before walking off to the restroom, probably to smoke meth and rub one out before the police show up. I don't know. Now at this point in time, I'm seriously thinking this guy's sketchy. I do not trust him one bit. So I go in the back to tell the cook, Bro, this guy is sketchy as f After conversing for a few with the cook about the sketchiest man alive walks to the door, I go back to what I was originally doing before Kellogg's boy walked in. Boxing pizzas and Armageddon. A few minutes go by, nothing really interesting happens, that was until the door rings again. And you could probably guess where this is going. Yep, that's right, two officers show up. And like always, I greet them with a Hi, how are you? To which the officer asks, Have you seen a shirtless man by chance? Oh, you mean Kellogg's boy? Oh, he's Obviously I said yes, he's in the restroom, rubbing one out. Maybe even a few for Jacob Satoria's hit or miss video. Oh, what I realize as I grow up 
is that it's just a hit or miss So let's not worry about tomorrow Oh yes, Jacob. Okay, maybe not that last part. <laughs> okay, that would be pretty funny. Now, I didn't see what happened next, but luckily we have an eyewitness account and... and... <laughs> I can't say it. The events that transpired next were very cliche. So the police are banging on the restroom door saying, Give it up, Johnny. We know you're in there. Holy crap, that's cliche. That's about as cliche as royalty-free ukulele. No, stop. Stop. Anyways, back onto the clickbait topic. So obviously Kellogg's boy got caught, and the police are handcuffing him right in front of me while I'm working in Armageddon. The funny thing was is as he was being handcuffed, he gave me the look of death like I betrayed him. A lot like that look when Anna gave Hans when Hans betrayed her. Oh, Anna. If only there was someone out there who loved you. Baby. <laughs> to be honest, it's more like an FML look. Anyways, they take him away, we serve the police some pizza, and all of us are just talking about it afterward. The police give my manager a rundown of who the guy was and what was going on. Turns out he was picked up on the side of the road by police, somehow managed to run away from the police after stopping for a restroom break, made his way to where I was working at, sat in the hold up in the restroom, high on meth, evading the police for his drug-related arrest. At this point in the story, all of us could only say, What in the actual just happened? What kind of town is this? That's basically what happened, and it's only two weeks into the job, too. For those of you who work or are going to at some point in time, Well, well, I hope to assume most of you will. Moral of the story is, you never know what is going to come through that door. You never know what is going to come through that door. Now, if you made it this far in the video, I just want to say, if I get one like on this video, I will moo like a cow. That's right, I will moo like a cow. Thank you for watching. If you found the video helpful, entertaining, have any comedic value, or just thank Please leave a thumbs up, share the video to help me out, subscribe if you're new to the channel or like what you see, and I'll see you later. Which as some of you could probably guess by the format of this video, some people like to get a little creative and for non-scouting purposes. <laughs>